Nicaragua, a nation known for its stunning landscapes and turbulent history, is daring to dream big. The country envisions a future reshaped by a colossal engineering feat, a canal slicing through its heartland, connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This ambitious project if realized, could catapult Nicaragua onto the world stage as a major player in global trade. The canal, stretching over 170 miles would be a monumental undertaking, requiring immense resources and international collaboration. It's a gamble of epic proportions, a testament to the nation's ambition and its unwavering belief in a brighter future. The proposed canal, a rival to the Panama Canal, would be a modern marvel, a testament to human ingenuity. It promises to be wider, deeper and longer than its famous counterpart, capable of accommodating the massive cargo ships that traverse the world's oceans. The vision for this canal is not just about trade, it's about transforming Nicaragua's economy and providing new opportunities for its people. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs, boost local businesses and attract foreign investment. However, this audacious vision has captured imaginations worldwide, stirring debate about its feasibility, its potential impact, and its place in the ever-evolving landscape of global trade. Critics argue about the environmental impact, the displacement of communities, and the financial viability of such a massive project. Supporters on the other hand, see it as a beacon of hope, a chance for Nicaragua to step out of the shadows and into the limelight. They believe that the canal could revolutionize global shipping routes, making them more efficient and cost-effective. The world watches with bated breath as Nicaragua takes on this monumental challenge. Will this small Central American nation defy the odds and reshape global shipping routes? Or will the canal dream remain just that, a dream, a tantalizing glimpse into a future that may never be? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, Nicaragua's bold vision has ignited a conversation about the future of global trade and the role this small nation might play in shaping it. The stakes are high, and the journey is fraught with challenges, but the potential rewards are immense. As the world continues to evolve, the need for innovative solutions in global trade becomes ever more pressing. Nicaragua's canal project represents a bold step towards addressing these challenges, offering a new pathway for international commerce. The project has already attracted interest from major global players, with investments and partnerships being discussed at the highest levels. The potential for economic growth and development is enormous, and the benefits could extend far beyond Nicaragua's borders. The dream of a Nicaraguan canal is more than just a vision, it's a symbol of hope and determination. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to dream big and strive for greatness, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. As the clock ticks and the sun sets over the Nicaraguan landscape, the world waits and watches. The future of global trade may very well be shaped by this small but determined nation. Only time will tell if Nicaragua's grand vision will become a reality, but the journey itself is a story worth telling. Nicaragua's bold vision has ignited a conversation about the future of global trade and the role this small nation might play in shaping it. The world is watching, and the stakes have never been higher. Will Nicaragua rise to the challenge and carve out a new path in the annals of history? The answer lies in the hands of its people and the unfolding of time. The global economy thrives on trade, a complex web of exchanges that fuels growth and development across continents. And trade relies on efficient shipping routes, the arteries through which the lifeblood of commerce flows. The Panama Canal, for over a century, has been a linchpin in this global network, connecting east and west, bridging oceans and cultures, facilitating the flow of goods and fueling economies. It has been a marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. Yet the modern world demands more. The scale of global trade has expanded exponentially. Ships are bigger, cargo volumes are soaring, and the demands on our shipping infrastructure are unprecedented. The Panama Canal, despite recent expansions, is facing its limits. The canal's capacity is being tested like never before. The shipping industry is feeling the pressure. Congestion and delays are becoming more frequent, impacting the entire supply chain. Delays at the Panama Canal translate to lost time and money. Every hour a ship waits, costs escalate, and schedules are disrupted. The call for alternative routes is growing louder. Industry leaders and governments are seeking solutions to this bottleneck. Nicaragua's canal project emerges as a potential solution, a bold vision to create a new pathway for global trade, a way to alleviate the strain on the Panama Canal and provide a much-needed alternative for global shipping. This project promises to reshape maritime routes. A wider and deeper canal through Nicaragua could accommodate the behemoth ships that now dominate maritime trade. These megaships require infrastructure that can handle their immense size and cargo capacity. This would translate into faster transit times, lower shipping costs, and a more efficient flow of goods around the world. The economic ripple effects could be profound. 
A more efficient flow of goods means more reliable supply chains, reduced costs for consumers, and enhanced global trade dynamics. The potential economic benefits are immense, not just for Nicaragua, but for the global economy as a whole. The world is watching with keen interest. Analysts predict that a successful Nicaraguan canal could shift trade patterns, reduce shipping times, and open new economic opportunities. Can Nicaragua, a nation with limited resources and a history of political instability, pull off this ambitious project? The answer remains uncertain. The challenges are significant but so are the potential rewards. But the need for an alternative to the Panama Canal is undeniable. The global trade network cannot afford to rely on a single choke point. The question is, can Nicaragua seize this opportunity and become a major player in the future of global trade? The stakes are high and the world is watching closely. Building a canal is no small feat. It demands an astronomical investment, billions upon billions of dollars. Nicaragua, with its limited economic resources, has turned to international investors to fund its grand vision. A key player in this financial equation is China, a global superpower with deep pockets and a growing interest in Latin America. China's involvement in the Nicaragua Canal project is multifaceted. The Chinese government sees the canal as a strategic investment, a way to secure access to raw materials and markets in Latin America. It's a bold move, a geopolitical chess game that has raised eyebrows in Washington and beyond. The United States, long accustomed to dominance in the Western Hemisphere, views China's growing influence in the region with suspicion. The Nicaragua Canal, a potential rival to the Panama Canal, is seen as a direct challenge to American economic and strategic interests. The stage is set for a geopolitical tug of war, with Nicaragua caught in the middle. The financial stakes are high but so are the political risks. Nicaragua's decision to partner with China has drawn criticism from some quarters, who fear that the country is becoming overly reliant on a single, powerful benefactor. Others argue that China's investment is a much-needed boost for Nicaragua's struggling economy, a chance to lift the nation out of poverty and onto the path of prosperity. The proposed Nicaragua Canal, for all its potential economic benefits, casts a long shadow over the nation's pristine environment. This ambitious project, envisioned to rival the Panama Canal, promises to transform Nicaragua into a major global shipping route, potentially boosting the economy and creating jobs. However, the environmental costs could be catastrophic. At the heart of the project lies a stark reality. The canal would cut through Lake Nicaragua, the largest freshwater lake in Central America and a vital source of drinking water for millions. This lake is not just a body of water, it is the lifeblood of the region, supporting both human and ecological communities. Environmentalists are sounding the alarm, warning of potential ecological disaster. They argue that the construction and operation of the canal could lead to irreversible damage to the lake and its surroundings. The voices of concerned citizens and activists are growing louder, as they demand that the government reconsider the project's environmental implications. The dredging of Lake Nicaragua, they argue, would release harmful sediments into the water, contaminating this vital resource and threatening the delicate balance of the lake's ecosystem. These sediments, which have been undisturbed for centuries, could contain pollutants that would devastate the water quality and harm aquatic life. The consequences for wildlife, for fish populations, and for the millions who depend on the lake for their livelihoods, could be devastating. Fishermen who rely on the lake for their daily catch could see their way of life disappear, and the rich biodiversity of the lake could be irreparably harmed. The canal's path would also cut through hundreds of miles of virgin rainforest, displacing wildlife and fragmenting habitats. This rainforest is home to countless species, many of which are already endangered. The loss of such a significant portion of this habitat could push some species to the brink of extinction. Deforestation on this scale could have far-reaching consequences contributing to climate change, increasing the risk of soil erosion, and disrupting the delicate balance of the region's ecosystems. The removal of trees would not only release stored carbon into the atmosphere, but also reduce the region's ability to absorb future carbon emissions. The potential for irreparable ecological damage is a stark counterpoint to the project's economic promise. While the canal could bring economic growth and development, the environmental costs could outweigh these benefits, leaving a legacy of destruction for future generations. The Nicaraguan government insists that it is committed to mitigating the environmental impact of the canal. Officials have outlined various measures they plan to implement to protect the environment, emphasizing their dedication to sustainable development. They point to plans for reforestation efforts, wildlife corridors, and strict environmental regulations. These initiatives are designed to offset the damage caused by the canal, aiming to restore and preserve the natural habitats affected by the construction, but critics remain skeptical, arguing that the scale of the project and the potential for damage are simply too great. 
they question whether the proposed mitigation measures will be sufficient to address the extensive environmental harm that could result from the canal's construction and operation. The fate of Lake Nicaragua, a vital resource for millions, hangs in the balance. As the debate continues, the people who depend on the lake for their water, food and livelihoods, watch anxiously, hoping that their voices will be heard, and that a solution can be found that balances economic development with environmental preservation.